Welcome to Newsroom subscribe to my channel for news updates across the world. The universe is vast, ancient and filled with wonders beyond imagination. Its mysteries have beckoned to us since the dawn of humanity, inspiring awe and curiosity in every generation. For centuries we gazed at the night sky, building telescopes to peer deeper into the cosmos. Each new invention brought us closer to understanding our place in the universe, revealing planets, nebulae, and galaxies once hidden from view. Now, we have the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a marvel of engineering, a golden honeycomb capturing the faintest, oldest light. Its design is unlike anything before, with mirrors that unfold in space to create a window into the distant past. JWST is more than a telescope, it's a time machine, revealing the universe as never before. It allows us to witness cosmic events that happened billions of years ago, as if we are looking back through time itself. Its power lies in seeing infrared light, invisible to our eyes but crucial for exploring the expanding universe. This unique vision lets us peer through clouds of dust and gas, uncovering secrets that optical telescopes simply cannot see. As light from distant galaxies stretches and shifts to red, JWST is designed to catch this ancient glow. It captures the faint signals that have traveled across the cosmos for billions of years carrying stories from the dawn of time. It peers through cosmic dust witnessing the birth of stars and the formation of the first galaxies. These are the building blocks of everything we know, and JWS lets us watch their creation unfold. With JWS we look back over 13 and a half billion years, seeing the universe's baby pictures. We can trace the evolution of galaxies, stars and even the elements that make up our own world. But it's not just about the distant past. JWS also brings the wonders of our own galaxy into sharper focus, connecting us to the cosmic neighborhood we call home. JWS also studies our own galaxy, analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets for the building blocks of life. It searches for water, carbon and other molecules that could hint at the possibility of life beyond Earth. Floating a million miles from Earth, cooled to near absolute zero. It's humanity's boldest quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Its vantage point allows it to observe the universe without interference, opening up new frontiers of discovery. Every image, every data point could rewrite our textbooks. Each discovery has the potential to challenge what we thought we knew and to spark new ideas for generations to come. JWS is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. It represents decades of collaboration, innovation, and determination from scientists and engineers around the world. It explores not just space but our own origins. By studying the cosmos, we learn more about how we came to be and what our future might hold. With each discovery it challenges what we know and inspires new questions. The more we learn, the more we realize how much there is left to explore. The universe is speaking, and for the first time we can truly listen. JWS is tuning into the faintest whispers from the cosmos, revealing stories that have waited eons to be told. This is a new era of discovery. We stand at the threshold of answers to questions we've asked for millennia. The cosmos is no longer silent, its secrets are being revealed, one observation at a time. We are part of its story, our curiosity and drive to explore connect us to the universe in ways we are only beginning to understand. The journey has just begun. There are countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered and new horizons to reach, and JWS is leading the way, guiding us into the unknown and lighting the path for future explorers. How do you find a planet orbiting a distant star? It's one of the most challenging quests in modern astronomy. A true search for a needle in a cosmic haystack. The star's light overwhelms. The planet is dim, a firefly beside a searchlight. Most planets are lost in the glare, making them nearly impossible to spot with the naked eye or even with powerful telescopes. Astronomers got clever, developing the transit method, watching for a tiny dip in a star's brightness as a planet crosses in front. This method revolutionized our ability to detect exoplanets, allowing us to find thousands of worlds beyond our solar system. Telescopes like Kepler and JWST stare at stars, measuring their light with extreme precision. They monitor thousands of stars at once, searching for those subtle, periodic dimmings. If a planet's orbit aligns just right, it blocks a fraction of starlight, a telltale dip. These dips are often less than 1%, but they're enough to reveal a planet's presence. By studying these dips, we learn a planet's size, orbit, and even estimate its temperature. Each light curve tells a story, unlocking secrets about distant worlds. 
We can tell if it's in the habitable zone where liquid water might exist. This is the region around a star where conditions could be just right for life as we know it. JWS takes this further, using spectroscopy. This technique lets us break down starlight into its component colors revealing even more about these distant planets. As a planet transits, some starlight passes through its atmosphere. The atmosphere leaves subtle traces in the light, like a secret code waiting to be deciphered. The atmosphere absorbs specific wavelengths creating a chemical fingerprint. Each molecule leaves its own unique mark, allowing us to identify what the atmosphere is made of. JWST analyzes this, searching for water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, gases linked to life. These discoveries could point us toward planets with the potential for habitability. It's a powerful way to study distant worlds revealing their secrets from light years away. Every new planet we find expands our understanding of the universe. With each transit we get closer to answering, are we alone? The search for exoplanets is also a search for our cosmic neighbors. The search is painstaking, but the rewards are extraordinary. Each discovery brings excitement, hope, and new questions. JWS turns faint shadows into worlds. What once seemed invisible now becomes a place we can study and imagine, and sometimes, those worlds surprise us. They challenge our theories and spark our curiosity, reminding us how much there is left to discover. The universe is full of hidden wonders, if you know how to look. With every new technique and every new telescope, we peel back another layer of the cosmic mystery. The story begins with what seemed like a routine observation. A night like so many others in the world of astronomy, filled with quiet anticipation and the hum of computers. Among thousands of distant stars, the James Webb Space Telescope focused its gaze on one in particular, G337, a sun-like star located 50 light-years away, quietly shining in the vastness of space. Earlier observations had hinted at the presence of a planet orbiting this star, but the evidence was always just out of reach, never quite enough to be certain. Now, JWS was assigned a new mission, to confirm the planet's existence, and if possible, to study the composition of its atmosphere in unprecedented detail. The telescope watched patiently, waiting for the telltale, almost imperceptible dip in starlight, a planetary transit, the signature of a world passing in front of its star. Advanced computers sifted through the incoming data, analyzing every fluctuation, and then, right on schedule, the star's light dimmed ever so slightly. A new planet was confirmed, G337b, a super-Earth, larger than our own planet, but likely rocky, with a surface that could be solid and mysterious. It orbits its star every 27 days, probably tidally locked, meaning one side basks in endless daylight, while the other remains in perpetual night, a world of extremes. The narrow twilight zone between these two sides could be temperate, a region where light and darkness meet, and where conditions might be just right for something remarkable. The team prepared their instruments to analyze the planet's atmosphere, searching for traces of water vapor, methane, or other gases that might hint at the possibility of life or unique chemistry. But what they found in the data was not on any checklist, not something they had anticipated or even imagined. In an instant, a routine observation had transformed into something extraordinary, a discovery that would challenge everything they thought they knew. Sometimes the universe surprises us when we least expect it, revealing secrets that have been hidden for eons. And this time, that surprise would change everything, opening a new chapter in our search for worlds beyond our own. As G337b transited its star, JWST's instruments worked flawlessly. But in the data, a junior astronomer noticed something odd, a persistent point of light on the planet's night side. It wasn't a detector flaw or cosmic ray, it was a steady localized infrared glow. The team checked and rechecked, ruling out errors. Could it be a volcanic eruption? The light didn't match molten rock, an atmospheric phenomenon. Too stable, too concentrated. The glow was organized, clustered, artificial. The implications were staggering. Quietly, the news spread among astronomers. Every natural explanation failed. The evidence pointed to technology, a city, an industrial complex, something built. The silence of the cosmos had been broken. A routine observation had become the greatest discovery in human history. The lights were on. Someone, or something, was home. The universe had just spoken back. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary scrutiny. Scientists explored every natural explanation. Volcanism, auroras, reflections. Volcanic eruptions are chaotic, but these lights were steady. 
Auroras should be spread out, not clustered like cities. Reflections couldn't explain the emission of infrared energy. After exhaustive analysis, no natural theory fit the data. The simplest explanation remained. The lights were artificial. Evidence of technology on a world 50 light years away. The discovery of possible city lights on G337B confronts us with the age-old question, are we alone? For centuries we searched for signals, debated the Fermi paradox, if life is common where is everyone, now the silence may be broken. If these lights are artificial, life and intelligence are not unique to Earth. The leap from chemistry to consciousness has happened elsewhere. The Fermi paradox has a new answer. They're out there, but we lack the tools to see them, until now. This discovery would shatter our cosmic isolation. We are not the universe's only story, we are part of a larger community of life. The implications are profound, a revolution in how we see ourselves. The universe just got a little smaller and much more alive. The lights on G337b are more than a curiosity. They're a beacon. Our search for extraterrestrial intelligence now has a target. Every radio telescope will listen for signals from this system. If another civilization exists, they've survived their own challenges, their existence is hope, a message that a long-term future is possible. The distance is vast, but not insurmountable. Any message we send would take 50 years to arrive, a reply, another 50. This is a conversation for generations, the discovery unites us, reminding us we are all earthlings, we are the species that looked up and found a neighbor, this moment belongs to everyone. The road ahead is illuminated by discovery. G337b marks a new chapter in exploration. JWST and other telescopes will study this world, mapping its lights, analyzing its atmosphere and listening for signals. This will inspire new technology, new telescopes and dreams of interstellar travel. The journey will require global cooperation and generations of effort, but the pursuit will drive innovation and inspire future explorers. We are stardust, animated by curiosity, reaching for the cosmos. The universe is not empty, it is full of wonder and possibility. The lights of G337b guide our way. The cosmos is calling, and at last, we are ready to answer.